You see a lot of interesting things at the shows at uh, CES, but inside Pepcom, I've never been before seen what looks to be a helicopter, but I think Greg Larry's going to correct me immediately and say it's not a helicopter. This is a personal aviation vehicle, also known as an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Okay, so tell us about it. What's the, uh, I'm just going to get in my own little VTOL and go flying, huh? You do have the opportunity to fly wherever you want with this aircraft. It's uh, it's designed under the FAA's Part 103 uh, uh, regulations, which means that you can fly the aircraft in uh, Class G airspace, which are typically rural or un, uh, unpopulated areas, which represents about at approximately 90% of the U.S. land in the United States. Nothing where I live in L.A., but everywhere else, right? As, as with me. Right, so. right, right. So this is an unusual looking aircraft. Can you describe it for our audio listeners? Yeah, so this again is an electric vertical takeoff and landing. It'll, it'll take off directly from this position, uh, pivot straight up, and uh, then convert to cruise flight. And from that point, then, it utilizes the fixed wings or the fixed wing and tilt architecture for efficiencies in flight. Whereas if you did not have the wing, you'd exert a lot more energy in that forward flight momentum. So this particular aircraft has been in design for quite some time, uh, about 10 years. Uh, it's built with complete safety with uh, dual redundancy and in some cases triple redundancy. So you'll see that some of the safety features on the aircraft are dual elevons. Uh, we put floats on the aircraft and the FAA gives us a little bit of a weight benefit by doing that. So in the event of a, uh, uh, a, water, a, landing? a water landing or an emergency water landing, uh, the aircraft will float. Not an intentional water Not landing. Not an intentional <laughs> one. So, uh, and, and we have tested the aircraft to do takeoff and landings from water, but uh, that's not what the aircraft is designed for. Okay, so across the back here, we've got four propellers. Yeah, you have uh, four motors. Um, again, with uh, redundancies, there's two, uh, two batteries per propulsor, as we call it. Um, the aircraft also has uh, radar altimeters below the wings, one on each side, and that enables the aircraft to um, self-land and also take off automatically. And so two different modes of flight there. So you can take off and command the aircraft to go from cruise, uh, I'm sorry, take off to cruise flight and then take over the aircraft and, and control it from then. And then when you come down to land the aircraft, you pitch the aircraft in the, uh, the landing configuration at 15 feet above ground level, you can program the aircraft to automatically land at that point, literally so, hands So the, the tricky parts are better done by machines in this case than they are by the... Uh, and again, those are the most critical phases of flight of any aircraft, and we try to make that as simple for the, uh, for the pilots. Wow. So um, it took me a minute to put together that you said E before VTOL, so all it's electric. An all electric. All electric. That's crazy. That's so really the cool. Aircraft, uh, can be charged on a 120 volt circuit. It'll take about eight hours to charge the aircraft at that point. But there's also a fast charging option for the aircraft that allow it to, in some cases, uh, charge as uh, low as 45 minutes up to two hours. And then that allows the pilots to get back up into the air and, and go have fun. I was going to say, I think that's faster than my car, that is. Um, so how long can you fly? Uh, a little over 20 miles and 20 minutes of the limit. So again, under uh, FAA Part 103, we're limited to 62 uh, miles an hour. So we use 60 miles an hour as the, uh, as the speed. So. Okay, and you said 20 minutes you can fly? Yeah, 20 minutes or, or roughly 20 miles. So it, depending upon where you're flying to, if you're going from point A to point B, and you have uh, terrain obstacles, heavy traffic, that you can go around in a relatively unpopulated manner. Um, it's a significant commute opportunity for somebody. Yeah, this could be really interesting. So uh, this is obviously a prototype we're standing in front of, but uh, where, when do you expect to actually have this in production? The aircraft is, it was announced to sail for the general public about three hours ago. Oh my goodness. For delivery, really? for delivery uh, after June 10th. Now I got to ask you, what's the uh, price point on this? Uh, the base price is 190,000, with the the uh, ultimate package, if you will, uh, 260,000 dollars. It's actually a lot less than I expected it to be. So if people wanted to learn about Pivotal, where would they go? They go to pivotal.aero, and there's a website. If somebody wants to purchase the aircraft, there's a nominal 250 dollars non-refundable deposit, and then there's a process uh, that that flows from there that secures your shipping window date and then the aircraft delivers beyond June 10th. And are there pilot qualifications for the human? 
The, uh, again, there does not have to be a pilot uh, certification. Uh, we train the pilots, and uh, we've already trained some initial owners, some, some early adopter uh, uh, owners, and it ranges anywhere from 10 to less hours, depending upon their skill sets and capabilities. In some cases, it might take a little bit longer. Wow, wow that's really cool. Well, thank you very much, Greg. This is really neat. My pleasure. Thanks for coming.